All right, I got a video today. I'm literally going to explain golf using Tiger Woods as the example and Butch Harmon, his coach from way back in the day. What is my swing thought? Oh, that's a big question. Golfers don't realize they are doing the same swing over and over with every single club. They think they're doing something different because they're getting different results. A layer above that is I started to notice that there was a point with every single golfer where they're reacting to the ball and their positioning, and that is the balance at the top of their swing. If you're a little on your back foot, you're gonna react. That reaction is ingrained in us. It is our fight or flight response system. So let's say you get on your back foot, you're over here. Your hands and arms are gonna try to hit the ball because your fight or flight system is protecting you from being embarrassed. That's all that is. You're trying not to be embarrassed. It is not embarrassing for the ball to go in the air in the direction of your target. Doesn't mean it's a good shot. It just went over there, eh, that's good enough. And your mind will let you do that. What we wanna do instead of fighting that, we wanna know that that's there. We wanna find our balance point. If we find this balance right before we do our downswing, and I mean a millisecond, then our mind will literally say, okay, and let us do that. If you see every single pro, you'll see that at the top of their swing, there's a moment right before they engage their downswing where they are in perfect balance. I see Victor Hovland on Instagram right now all over the place. He's doing a great job of describing a swing. He's hot right now, everybody wants to know his secrets. What he's describing as a professional is the movements that you would do if your swing was in balance. So when we, as amateurs, other folks that are out there and students, hear that, they're trying to do the moves and they're not in balance. So their fight or flight system kicks on and their old pattern immediately shows itself and they're wondering what in the heck's going on, why can't I do this thing? And what they don't understand is they're missing the spot. They're thinking about the mechanics and their elbow and their sway and they're over the top. But if we literally find our balance point, leave our arm up here and send our pelvis area to the target, the entire swing will fall into place. The club will literally shallow. Your elbow will drive to the target. Your arm will be right on your side. You'll extend your body and you'll finish on your tippy toe effortlessly. The balance is the ultimate key. And I have seen that again and again, over and over. People are reacting to that differently, right? They go to the balance point, they're out of balance and people are gonna come up with different ways to do it. And your mind is gonna cling on to the one that kind of worked. You're on your back foot and you flip at it and the ball goes in the direction. Your brain says, all right, that's what we're gonna do forever. That ball went over there, great. And then you keep practicing that and you get a couple good shots in, now it's just stuck. So instead of doing that, we want to practice the stop and go. I just watched a video with Tiger and, and Butch. Butch had a lot more hair and Tiger was like 23 on the golf channel. He talked about this drill that Butch made him do over and over and over. I've seen this video a million times, but it finally clicked with me. It was a stop and go drill, stop and go. And I would always thought of balance, like, yeah, yeah, balance, great, we gotta be in balance. But that is actually the absolute key. When Tiger was doing that, what was Butch having him do? He was gonna be balanced, because every time he was in balance, he hit it well. Maybe he didn't even tell him that, but that was the exact effect. And that is exactly what you should practice all the time. How do I get to the top of the swing and find 50-50? Now that's 50-50 north, south, east, west. You are balanced and we wanna be relaxed. Like I am here and I'm literally standing here in my golf posture and that's it. And the more you do that, you'll start to notice that you keep hitting the sweet spot, especially you have a little tee here at the range without even trying. In fact, if you try to hit the tee, you're gonna miss it more often than not. Golf ultimately is balance and letting go. So let's break that down to something very simple, set up balanced, arms hanging, everything very natural. A Little bit of a nice setup, right? We can talk about that another day, but good ball, golf balance. Take away, balance again at the top right before we do our downswing. Lower body literally smoothly goes that direction. The lower body is gonna be the exact same speed. Whatever this speed was, it's that speed forward. And most people get up here and then they try to rotate. Nope, what we wanna do is shift at that speed, it's very smooth because if we shift and we start to swing at the same time, which is exactly what we do, you're naturally going to rotate at the perfect time. And that's why the swing literally 
falls into place and looks effortless because it is. There's effort when we're out of balance. You'll see that there's a little nanosecond of calm in the eye of the storm, and that's exactly what we want to do. So give that a try. Practice the Tiger Butch Drill. Find that balance and see how relaxed you can do the downswing by literally moving this and let your arm go. It's just the doors open and our body's moving against it. So as soon as we start to rise on the lead side, it releases naturally. You're gonna see all those golf moves that you've been working on for your entire life magically appear right in front of you. Give it a try. Hey guys, if you like that video, subscribe and like. Helps us get more clicks and more people can see my content. More is coming your way. Studio Golf's just about to open and you're gonna see us at our beautiful indoor private golf club experience. It is going to be off the hook and most of this content's gonna start coming from there, so stay tuned.